Today is a very exciting day in the Hapoya household because yesterday, not one, but two packages in the mail. And it's time to open up these guys. Are you guys ready for the grand reveal? Life is about to get more awesome. That is correct. We got ourselves our own one wheels. Not one, but two. Up until this point, I've been just using my brother Maddie's one wheels in Canada, but we don't have any one wheels here in Finland. So the people at One Wheel were kind enough to send us two One Wheel pints here to Finland so that, you know, me and Maddie, we always have One Wheels to use, but also for me and Vera because she's a huge fan of One Wheels now too. Yeah. Get these packaging out of here. Oh, it's rolling down the hill. <laughs> Look at that, fresh out of the box. Crisp looking one wheel pint. Ooh. All right, we're gonna have to put these one wheels to charge, but while we're waiting, I wanna give you three reasons why every YouTuber slash vlogger should invest in a one wheel. And I wasn't even sponsored to make this video or to say these things. They did send me these one wheels, but in no way have they paid me any money to say this, but I wanna say it because I truly believe in one wheel and the products that they're creating and also for the benefit and value they give to us YouTubers and content creators, vloggers in this whole YouTube world. So let's put this to charge and then let me spill my guts out to you guys. Is that okay? Hopefully that's okay. I'm also very sweaty and there's swarming mosquitoes around. Look, look at this. This is Finland for you. Mosquito, mosquito, mosquito. Remnants of a mosquito right there, bleeding and uh, they're flying everywhere. So let's get inside. Let's get these one wheels charging and then let's do this. All right, reason number one why every YouTuber slash vlogger should invest in a one wheel is, is that having a one wheel creates this really nice movement when you're doing talking headshots. Even right now, for me to talk to you in front of the camera, it's a static shot. It can get boring, but if we were on a one wheel right now and moving and talking, everything's kind of flying by and it just creates a lot of interest in the moment. And I find that for myself, when I'm filming and talking, it's just a lot more enjoyable. And as well, it's a lot smoother because if I was walking and talking, it's just shaking and dangling. Whereas with the one wheel, the footage is just really smooth. You know, I give you an example of it right now. If I take the camera, and adjust the exposure because it's way overexposed. But I take the camera and I'm walking, the whole time it's shaking and moving and everything. But then if I get on the one wheel and start talking, it's way smoother. Let me show you. First time using this one wheel. Always a bit nerve wracking. <laughs> With sandals too. Now instead of just being stagnant on the spot or walking with the camera and it's just shaking everywhere, I can just ride the one wheel and the background is constantly moving and changing and it makes it a lot more interesting for you guys as the viewers to watch me talking. So one wheel makes everything a lot more interesting to watch while you're talking and moving forwards. I was wondering what that dirt is flying at me. I forgot this one doesn't have a cover. So, you know, it's all dirt. <laughs> my feet and my sandals. The second reason why everyone should invest in a one wheel if you are a YouTuber or a vlogger is, is that you can as well not only get cool moving shots like this, but also you can get really epic B-roll shots of other people. Uh, yesterday with Vera, we went out and filmed some B-roll shots of her taking a run. And instead of me holding a crazy gimbal or you know whatever kind of gear, I was able to just use the one wheel to do these nice tracking following shots of her from behind, from the side, from backwards, all on the one wheel. So some people might say, oh, you're just, you know, making excuses so that you can invest in a one wheel. No, I really think that a one wheel is a valuable tool when you're a filmmaker. If you know how to ride a one wheel well, you can get really nice, smooth follow shots even without a gimbal. And if you did use a gimbal, then it would be double as smooth. So I can't imagine what kind of cool shots you can get. So second reason why a one wheel is really great as a filmmaker, as a YouTuber, vlogger is that you can get really cool follow shots for B-roll stuff that you need in your video. 
I'm having a lot of fun on the one wheel. I've missed this thing. Can this get anything better? I'm at the cottage, got a one wheel now. I'm just enjoying life. All right, tip number three still. I'm gonna jump off because my calves are burning. Let's put this to charge still more. And reason number three why every YouTuber vlogger should invest in a one wheel is that you can get from location to location really easily. I don't know about you guys, but I personally hate walking. I think it's really slow. And then driving with a car from location to location, having to worry about parking and all that kind of stuff, it's just not helpful when you're filming YouTube videos. But I find with one wheels, you can easily just cruise, film along the way, film in one location, drive the one wheel to another location, and you're able to get around really easily. And I just find it's really helpful when you're a YouTuber, especially a vlogger, who's filming and documenting their day and creating content outside of the studio office. If you're the type of YouTube content creator that just films in your studio all the time, okay, one wheel is totally useless for you. But if you are a vlogger or a YouTube content creator who loves to be on the go, going to different locations, I think one wheel is really the best way to get around. And the fourth reason, I know I said I'm gonna give you three, but I'm gonna give fourth reason. The fourth reason why I think every YouTuber slash vlogger should get a one wheel is the fact that you can be on an electric vehicle without using your hands. You have free hands to hold the camera and to be filming. And this might sound very obvious or just random, but the reason why I'm saying this is that I remember when I got the Boosted Rev, I was really excited because I was gonna use the Boosted Rev to film videos and to create content with. But I quickly realized that it's very hard to ride a boosted rev and film at the same time. It's actually very sketchy and dangerous to only ride with one hand and to be holding with your other hand uh, a camera or a gorilla pod because you're just really uh, shaky and unstable. Whereas with the one wheel, you just get to stand on the one wheel. You don't need to be using your hands and it almost becomes like second nature being on the one wheel. You don't have to think about it too much which allows you then to use your hands to be able to film and document with the camera. So four reasons why a one wheel is the perfect tool for a YouTuber slash vlogger. And fifth reason, I'm just gonna throw this bonus in there. It's just a whole lot of fun. If I can create excuses to buy products for my company that I get to enjoy at the same time, I'm gonna. So fifth reason, one wheels are so much fun, so why not have fun while you're at work? Guys, I was saying to Vera earlier that I'm gonna ride the one wheel down this dock and you know, dismount right here. Should I do that? <laughs> or is that just really stupid? For those of you guys who don't understand this inside joke, go back a few videos. Um, let's just say I've launched a one wheel off a dock before. So um, yeah, maybe I will, maybe I won't ride the one wheel down the dock. You'll just have to wait and see. All right guys, that video turned from three to actually five reasons why every YouTuber slash vlogger should invest in a one wheel. And I wasn't even sponsored to say all this. I just generally wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you've never tried out the one wheel before, I would highly suggest it. All right guys, I'm gonna go enjoy some sauna and swimming. Enjoy the rest of my day here at the cottage. See you. My friend yes, I wants to learn how to oh. ride the one wheel. Let's see how he goes. Hey, let's do this. How confident are you, Yesse? I'm very confident. Let's do Maybe not, let's maybe not right there. Okay. <laughs> do you guys remember Yesse? He's been in a lot of the videos in the past. He works for me at the wedding company. But he's more of a friend. Not let's fun. go. Good good safe sandals. That's the best for one wheeling. Put your back foot on. Front foot. Oh. Lean forwards. And it's not bad. And you're ready to go. That was that good instructions? You'll get it. I believe in you, yes, sir. Are you sure you don't want me to hold your hand? Right away. Look at this. <laughs> yes, sir, did you just go right away? Look at this. He's way better than I was. Hey, let me take that. <laughs> now just jump. Two feet at the same time. Hey, that's exactly how you get off. You dismounted. Yes, sir. 
first try, it's just no problem. I'm very impressed. Don't run in my car. <laughs> and that, my friends, is just how easy it is to jump on a one wheel and start riding, and why everyone else should buy one too. Yeah, lean forwards more. The more you lean, the faster it goes. <laughs> and then you lean back to slow down. <laughs> you, you, oh, oh, and that's the worst part. Never leave your front foot on. Yeah. It'll just keep spinning. This is how we do it in Finland! <laughs> Bye, Jesse! See you! Don't hurt yourself! I really hope he doesn't bail because that would be the end of his midsummer weekend. Yes, sir. Be careful. All right, guys. Have a great day.